From your Panopto library in Seoul, hover over the session you want to edit and click the edit icon. This will bring you to the video editor. You can quickly change the title of your video by clicking on the title bar and updating the text. Click enter when you're finished. The same goes for the description. The useful yet simple editing tools, contents and captions are located on the left side of the editor. The contents tab in the table of contents or TOC provides an easy method to navigate the recording. The TOC is automatically generated if a session is recorded with a PowerPoint, but can be added manually or edited to provide the viewer with more information. To add a new TOC entry, click the Contents tab and select the Pointer tool from the top left of the Edit Timeline. You can use the Pointer tool to select the exact spot in which to insert a TOC entry. Start typing in the Outline box of the Contents tab to enter an event at that time. Click Enter to save the event. To edit or delete a pre-existing TOC entry, move the cursor over the entry you wish to change. Click on the three dots next to it, then click the edit icon. You can also edit from the thumbnail directly. Click on the thumbnail you wish to edit and click on the edit icon. If you can't see the thumbnails, it's because you have a limited desktop space. You can bring them up on smaller screens by choosing the preview option to the right of the edit timeline. You can switch back to the main timeline view at any time. Note, either of these options will open up the edit window. From the edit table of contents entry window, which is accessed by the three dots next to the entry, you can edit the title, the time of the entry, the preview image, search keywords, and enter a web link. If you want to caption your video, go to the Captions tab on the sidebar. From here, you can click inside the Enter a Caption box and begin typing along with the video. Or you can choose to import automatic captions from the drop-down, then edit them as needed. We find this method to be easiest since it adds Automatic Speech Recognition, or ASR, which generates captions automatically for your session. Please note that the machine-generated captions clearly aren't the same as human transcription, so they will need to be reviewed and edited to ensure that they are 100% accurate. The ASR captions are not available in the editor immediately after the video has been uploaded and processed. However, once they become available, you will be able to edit each individual caption by clicking the three dots next to the caption and choosing Edit. From here, you can either manually type in the edits or copy and paste from a script you may have used while recording your session. Once you are satisfied with your captions, be sure to commit your changes by pressing the Publish button on the top right of the editor. The second option from the drop-down is the Upload or Request Captions. Currently, no captioning services are enabled through the HSC IDS department but you can upload a file that is appropriately formatted for ingestion. Now let's move on to the right side of the editor, where you will see the timeline, where you will edit your video. It consists of a separate row or lanes for each stream recorded in the video. If you have primary and secondary videos, primary videos will be displayed in the upper left. When you play the video, you will see the red vertical bar moving along. You can expand the timeline by selecting the arrow to show more detail. The pointer tool can be used to move around the timeline. Since the editor is non-destructive, you can also use the cut tool to add sections back in. When you select this tool, you will see a dark gray line appear at the beginning and end of your timeline. You can play your video from the beginning and pause it right before you'd like it to start. Select the Cut tool and click and drag the gray line to trim out the section of the video. Note, the gray line will snap into position with the red one. This will allow you to be more precise with your cuts. You perform the same steps to cut out the end of the video. 
and you can click and drag in the middle of the timeline to trim those sections as well. Cut sections will always appear in the timeline, but will not play back in Panopto Viewer once you publish your changes. Again, this is because Panopto's editor is non-destructive, meaning that you are able to re-add those sections back into your video at any time if necessary. Plus icon allows you to add items directly to your timeline, such as YouTube videos and web pages. Set Thumbnail. The image set will be used to represent your video in lists, sharing, and more. You can use an image from your primary or secondary stream as the thumbnail or upload your own image. Last, you can choose to preview your cuts during playback, if you choose to select that option. And let's not forget everyone's favorite, the undo and redo button at the top, which is used to discard or redo your most recent changes. Lastly, the publish and revert tools. If you're happy with any edits you've made, remember to always click publish to make your changes go live. Your work will always be saved even if you decide not to publish, but if you don't like the changes you've made, you can revert to start over. Thank you.